Hi, uh, today is Monday the 16th and we are nine days from Christmas, obviously. But um, yeah, today we are having just a little, like a little uh, at home cleanup day. Really, whenever we just stay at home is a cleanup day for me. So yeah, that's what I got planned for today. But um, at least had speech therapy and I have to fold millions of clothes because my husband washed the clothes yesterday. So many clothes to fold. And I'm also probably gonna get some things together for her birthday. She is not having a party, but we're trying to have, yeah, that's yours. We're trying to have a, um, can you help her, Adri? We're trying to have, we're trying to have a um, cake and ice cream day for her and have some friends over. So I'm going to look for ideas for a cake and I'm also, going to try to make her shirt with her name on it and maybe a tutu and also I need to look up some look for some decorations but um yeah just something special for her it's really hard to do things for her birthday because of it's around Christmas it's three days before Christmas and we're trying to have the ice cream and cake on the 21st so that's pretty that's a, the last shopping day before a shopping weekend before christmas so it's kind of hard to get people to come over so hopefully we'll have something in either way if, if anyone comes over or not we're gonna have something for her but she's excited for her birthday that's why i want it to be special you wanna say hi say hi hi you gonna show your puff ball <laughs> Their hair needs to be washed, so they just oh, have no. ponytails today. It looks cute. Sometimes. Yeah, it is cute sometimes. So now I'm about to start my whole clothes folding marathon. Um, I'm watching Alfred Hitchcock presents on Netflix. I got on a folding clothes outfit. I look like a clown but so far I have four baskets full and I think there's also some more clothes in the basement so oh goodness these are the girls clothes alone like they have a lot of clothes but um, gotta get started so while I was folding clothes look what this disaster of a mess my little girls left for me to clean. Mm-hmm. They usually don't make this bad of a mess, but today they really they really did a good job making a mess. Alright, so mission accomplished. I folded and put away all the clothes and I also cleaned up the horrible mess that they made. So now, now I am going to start dinner. Well, and get ready to start dinner. It's only 4.30, um, but before I make dinner, I am going to make a special treat and I'm excited to make it and hopefully it turns out good. Here's the ingredients for the special treat that I'm making. And the only reason I'm saying that it's a special treat is because I am making it as a gift for Adrian and Lisa's teachers. And what I'm making is peppermint bark. And I got some semi-sweet chocolate, um, milk chocolate, and some white chocolate. Got some candy canes. And I'm going to put up put it all in these little these three buckets. I have three teachers. And I'm gonna package it up in these buckets. And I hope, teachers. Mm hmm And I hope it comes out. I made it last year and it was really good, but you just never know with anything that you make if it comes out right. But these are all the ingredients I have and I have to give it to them tomorrow because tomorrow is our last day before Christmas. I just broke up all the chocolate pieces, got the dark chocolate and the white chocolate. I broke up four candy canes and I have to melt both of these. And then I just spread the, first I'll spread the dark chocolate and then 
I'm going to swirl in the white chocolate and then sprinkle it with the candy cane. So this is how it turned out. And it looks pretty. The camera is not really showing up really well. But it looks like it turned out good. I didn't taste it yet. And I'm just going to break it up in pieces and then put it in these little buckets. Here's the cooking bark off with the milk. And in the finished product. I thought these baskets were really cute. I'm just going to put them in a bag. This bag. And then just put them all together. And that's all. That's it. For dinner we're going to have spaghetti and meatballs. And I'm going to use ground turkey. I'm going to add, um, I'm going to uh, chop these up in the food processor real small. So I'm going to add the mushrooms and the onions and then breadcrumbs. I'm going to use it. one egg. i got some garlic powder and some salt. And then I'm actually going to bake them. Um, they could be fried, but I'm going to fry the, the mushrooms before I put them in the meat. So I don't feel like frying up too much. So I'm just going to bake them. Put all the ingredients in this bowl. And I'm going to use gloves to mix it and then I'm going to roll them up and put them in the pan to bake them. So one pound of ground turkey made a lot more than I thought but I have 23 it could have been more than that but I tried to make them bigger but if we have more leftover I could just freeze them but I don't think we'll have more leftover anyways. So I'm just going to put them in the oven now they're not cooked yet. And uh, I don't know how long yet because I don't usually put them in the oven, but maybe like an hour, I think. Meatballs are finished. They are really yummy and I am going to put them in the pan of spaghetti sauce and heat this up. But these can be eaten plain, but since we're having spaghetti, I'm just going to put them in the sauce. And here's my plate. Just got a small, a small portion for now, but we'll see if I want more later. So everyone's asleep and I'm still up past my bedtime, but um, I never go to sleep on time. Um, I didn't get a chance to to do the, make the birthday outfit for at least that I wanted to. Well, I wanted to paint a birthday shirt for her and make a tutu. I didn't get a chance to do that today. But um, because her birthday is, like I said, her birthday is on Sunday, but we're trying to have cake and ice cream for her on Saturday and have um, people come over. So I just wanted her to have a little outfit and make her feel special. But I did go and look for things to use for the birthday, like decorations. And I also made a sketch of what I want to put on her shirt and a sketch of the cake that I want to make um this is some decor uh decoration stuff from my party planet stash so we're gonna do um strawberry shortcake theme and I got some and I'm, I'm gonna use pink green and red colors and a little bit of white so I just got some cups and some tissue paper some um what are these? Tablecloths, napkins, balloons, streamers, stuff like that. I got a couple plates and silverware in here because I'm not trying to spend any money at all. Like, because it's not a party, so no need to spend money. And then, <coughs> excuse me, I got, I made this last year. And this has, you can't really see it because it's dark in here, but this has green, red, pink, and white colors. So I'm going to use this tutu and probably add some more tool to it. And here's the sketches that I made. And for her shirt, I want to put like a three, like to this, um, a 
okay so I want to put like a three the number three and a strawberry and her name so I just sketched it out real quick put the colors that I want to use and like I said pink red and green so and then the cake this is the idea I want to use I want to use fondant the marshmallow fondant so hopefully that will work out and so like what I do for this shirt I just paint I'm gonna paint this I'm gonna make a template and then paint it with fabric paint on just a regular white shirt and I'll make a hair bow too so yeah just something simple like that for her birthday but all right now I am going to watch some TV and then hopefully I'll get sleepy and go to sleep tomorrow we are going to a train garden so I will be vlogging tomorrow and I hope to see you and thank you for watching bye